the exclusive interview with the man at the center of the biggest story in sports. His name is Jeremy Lin. He's the seemingly out of nowhere overnight star of the New York Knicks, the man who launched a thousand bad puns like Lin Sanity and Linderella's story. Rachel Nichols of our sister network ESPN scored the big interview and she is live this morning from Madison Square Garden. Rachel, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. You know, this is such a great underdog story in so many ways. Jeremy went to Harvard, which is not exactly a basketball factory. He was undrafted. He was cut by two other teams before the Knicks picked him up. And even the Knicks admit they almost cut him before they put him out on the floor, really in desperation, just to see what he could do. Since then, everything has just exploded for Jeremy Lin, even in ways he never could have imagined. Well, it was the first time that you realized, okay, this isn't just one day on the back of the newspaper, that kind of thing. This is a thing. This is a phenomenon. I probably just started to realize that maybe five days into it, every site I'm going to, it's like, oh, Lynn this, Lynn that, and it was just uh, a little <laughs> a little overwhelming. What was it like the first time you're just walking around and you see someone wearing your name on a T-shirt or on their jersey? Um, I was shocked because I actually didn't even know they made my jersey. Um, I didn't know that they did it that fast, and so when I saw it, I was... Like, I had to look three times. So I was like, did they customize that? Or um, And then I saw a couple other ones, and then I was like, okay, I think they must have made them overnight or something. I mean, this is extended to everyone. Your 85-year-old grandmother is back in Taiwan, and she's getting stalked by paparazzi. She's like the Britney Spears of Taiwan. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's I think that's crazy. I've learned that <laughs> social media and... and uh, you know, our private lives are not so private anymore, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. What's the weirdest paparazzi moment you've had? Stuff about me dating, you know, Kim Kardashian. I mean, I have no idea where that came from and all these other rumors. You don't think you're the Kim Kardashian type? Uh, no, I think, uh, no, I don't think I'm the, that type. What are some of the stereotypes that Asian American athletes have to deal with? It's funny, people are still saying, oh, he's, you know, quicker than he looks. And I'm like, what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> do I look slow or, or uh, I'm not really sure what that means. And so, um, you know, people are always saying he's deceptively quick, deceptively athletic. And um, I don't know if that's just because I'm Asian or, or what it is, but uh, obviously there's going to be stereotypes that you have to fight. But I think it's, you know, again, it's, it's unique. It's a different platform and it's something that I embrace and I love. And um, you know, I, I want to be able to represent and be a role model for the Asian American and Asian community. What's your indulgence? What's your thing when you get home and when you're not in church and you're not playing games and you're not working? What's your thing? Like, if I had a day to myself, and I would just, I would play video games with my brothers. Basically, you're 23 years old. Yeah. Uh, my, my family likes to call me uh, an oversized kid, so... Uh, I think that's pretty accurate in some ways. Jeremy is also a pioneer. He is the first American of Chinese or Taiwanese descent to play in the NBA. You know, he told me that back when he was a kid, he and his brothers used to play in the backyard, and they pretend to be Michael Jordan. Beyond this afternoon, there are kids in backyards all around the country who are going to be pretending to be Jeremy Lin. I'm sure there will. I'll pick it up from here, Rachel. Great interview. He seems like a really cool guy. Doesn't, doesn't seem like it's going to happen with Kim Kardashian, though. <laughs> but thanks again for that great interview.